Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot has happened since this video was recorded. So I just wanted to take a second to say that seasons have changed. We had a baby and it's literally almost Christmas. We finally got around to editing this video. If there's anything that you see that you want details on, I'm gonna try to link as many things below as I can and mention it, but if not here, stay tuned for my blog. But as always, feel free to comment below too and let me know what you guys think of this video and if you wanna see more home videos. All right, guys, let's do this. Can you play something for us real quick? Well, yeah. Something that is cozy for our house. This is a Steve Hendrix original. The ceiling, guys, was not here before. It looked nothing like this before, so we obviously added shiplap and beams, handmade. Wow, I just came in, you guys, and I'm seeing where the beams are gonna be. Holy crater villain. That's gonna look sick. Isn't that crazy? It looks awesome. It's like, wow, been worth the wait. And I think one of the first things that we noticed that we loved about this living room was all the windows. I mean, these windows are all over the house. It, it came as is, so we didn't have to do anything to the windows. But what if I told you right here in this spot, it was a fireplace in the dead center of this room. And I remember thinking, whoa, it's separating the kitchen from the living room, but I kind of want to like see it all open. Is that weird? And Stevie goes, absolutely not. So his family being in the construction business, shout out to Soleil Floors, who did literally 99% of the work in this house. They actually came and checked. How's it coming? Oh, it's going good. Woo! Looks like the plan's gonna work. How long have we been in this house? 15 minutes. <laughs> My dad got on a ladder and checked the structure of the roof and he was like, bro, I don't think the fireplace is structural, dude, so we can smash that thing, dude, and we can bust this wide open, dude. You can have all those windows, dude. And that's how we got an open living room. But before, the fireplace was like, oh, I'm in the middle, dude. All the attention's on me and we were like, not so fast, bro. We smashed it and look, we moved a fireplace over here. Sass, come around this way. Okay. Come around this way to show them. Can you really go back to Steve though now? I don't want you to be this annoying character the whole time. Okay, great. We were able to put the beams that center the fireplace on mm -hmm. this wall. We kept the window here and we made a little bench over there. And then we put in a ventless fireplace. It's a gas ventless fireplace. So it actually has gas fire, but oh. it's not a wood fire. So there's no smoke going through Oh, yeah. Actually, do you think I'd look good with this color hair? Those are nice highlights on you. I feel like I look like Dolly Parton. <laughs> the living room really was just something that when we were looking for homes, we really wanted it to feel open. We wanted it to feel like it was a space where people could actually come and feel like they could just relax. It took me a while to find the perfect couch. We actually went to a furniture store called Our House here in Austin, and they ended up having this couch, and I sat on it and thought, Oh my God, this is amazing. We got the special high performance fabric on this. It's called a Krypton fabric. So I cannot tell you with the amount of guests that we've had, babe, like what was it? Smoothie, pasta stain, oil. Um, we've had blood. John cut his leg on the, it's on pretty the table. Gross. But anyways, it comes off literally with cold water. And so this couch, it kind of like separates this space from the kitchen and the dining little area. So I knew the couch was gonna be really important. And I just love it so much. It's my favorite piece in the whole home. There, I said it! So 
So right behind our couch, guys, is our little dining room moment. We were going back and forth like, where's the dining room table gonna go? And we yeah. need to find the perfect size table so that it doesn't look overcrowded. And I think this little nook was the perfect place to put the dining room. And I also believe that we're still going to create something in this back wall here where the bar cart is. I'm envisioning maybe like a little buffet table or something. We wanted to create not necessarily a formal dining room space. We never used that when we were in our old house so like for us this space is really great for everybody to come hang out play games let me tell you about this table first of all this table is french white oak so this means that this table here was built in france it is made from white oak in france but what the best thing about this table is it is a true antique it was actually a work table so if you see here there's a piece running along the middle to hold the table sturdy and there was actually four other inches underneath each of these legs but what we did was took it off and now it is more of a height sitting table the right height but it is a true antique from around 1860 to 1870. Come He's close. He's actually telling the truth guys just ignore the accent. Of course please please come close. <laughs> the texture here is exquisite. You cannot get this unless it is an antique. And the nice thing is, already had stains. So when the kids sit down, it's not a problem. It, it had stains for at least 100 years. It kind of took us a while though to find the perfect chandelier lighting. Sometimes when you're doing an open floor plan, I feel like if you don't give each individual little area their own moment, it just can look kind of sad and by itself. I just love how like delicate it is, you know? I wanted something kind of like dainty a little bit and this is just like the perfect chandelier for the vibe of what we were looking for. It's actually from Hudson Valley Lighting. I got actually a few lights from them and I'll be sure to mention it below in the description box but also in all the other areas where we got lighting. They had a really great selection so we were so happy with this when it came in, yay! All right, y'all follow me down here this way to the kitchen. <laughs> everybody in Texas loves their kitchen the most. You know why? Because that's where mom gets in there and starts whipping stuff up good for everybody. And that's what makes you happy is when your serotonin level starts going up in your tummy. That's oh science. Gosh. That's science right there. I Come on in. All right, first thing you're going to notice here, there was an island here before. It was small and it was ugly. And for this kitchen with these ceilings being like 10 feet high, I was like, this is not going to cut it. So we got rid of the island. We replaced it with a custom white oak, had it hand finished. It took us forever to find this countertop. I have to reference what it's called, guys. I'll be sure to mention it in my roundup that I'm doing on our blog. I definitely wanted character in our slab, but I didn't want the gray vibe. So I love that we found this warmer tone that really complements what we did here with the black splash transformation. So the house naturally had this limestone texture here and we wanted to actually figure out a way to bring this onto the backsplash area. I was actually really inspired by Joanna Gaines. Well, theirs was so different, obviously, but I was inspired by the whole like bringing the outdoors in. Are you stealing my credit? Steve, 100% it was my 1, idea. 1,000% no, it, it was my because, idea. You know what? Are you kidding no, me? No, this was my idea. No. Yes, it was. Oh my Whenever, God. Do you remember I showed you my Pinterest folder no, and I said I had yeah. already told you that before. You can have the credit <laughs> if you really want it. Um, I did get a question though, babe. People are asking, is this hard to clean? Like if you're cooking here and something splashes on it, we yeah. haven't had any issues with question. it so far. Yeah. Um, but in the event that we do, I believe that you can put a sealant, like a little seal over you it. You can right? put a sealant on it, but look, this is right behind the sink and we've had no stains so far. I have yet to use this. Why aren't you using that? I don't know. I keep forgetting that it's not just for decor. It's an actual pot filler. Look at how beautiful it is though. I just feel like it adds so much charm to this little back wall here. This kitchen was actually pretty good as is. I mean, it was great, but I think we just felt like if you're gonna do a kitchen and you're gonna renovate and get rid of the chimney, you might as well go all out and bring your dream kitchen to life. The hardware. So Stevie got this at a place called rejuvenation.com. Honestly, this was the last thing we got. This is why it's taken us forever to record this video. But we're so pleased, it was worth the wait. And then this probably is my favorite little moment right here. You know what I mean? I don't know why, but it's so peaceful. If I could 
jump up here right now, I would, but nine months pregnant and dilating. By the way, don't judge us for that. We you have got, to get the custom wood here. We have here. to get a custom wood face, so it's not going to look <laughs> like a dishwasher, but right now it looks it's like actually, I'm scared every time I have to open this. It ricochets. Yeah, well, it looks My like the Terminator's brother finger. right now, so that's why. This was definitely inspired by Joanna Gaines' new grist mill um, <laughs> location. She had a faucet very similar to this, and so that's why we put that in, but we absolutely love it. And then up here, these are lights from Hudson Valley Lighting as well. The brass touches around the sink with the wood. It adds a lot of nice color. And character. I love and it. And texture in the kitchen. So When we were making the island, you were like, do you want more storage? And at first I was like, well, do I really need that much storage? And I was like, after we got it, I was like, yes. This goes all the way deep to the other end. So. I like a clean looking space. It just keeps my mind fresh and everything in the house clean. So it's like everything that we don't have out, we can put into the island and nobody has to see our deep dark secrets. show them the screened in porch so obviously a screened in porch in Texas I feel like that's just like a southern thing in the summer times you know it's gonna get hot so thank God for the doors closing but when it's cool like today with this cold front we're just leaving the doors open and it's just so nice to come out here sometimes and work on our laptops it's been so sweet being able to like have quiet time out here drink a cup of coffee and I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a little fountain out here too. So it's just a, it's a nice little cozy getaway place. We're still kind of figuring out what we want it to look like, but for the time being, it's just been a really sweet little space. This house actually has three screen in porches, but this one's my favorite because it's just like, you could be chilling in the living room and then the guys can just be like out here doing their thing. It's just so cute. I love it. Well, it needs some prayer, but here's the thing. It is an organizational work in progress, but this is the pantry that we brought to life because there was no shelves in here. There was no little countertop. Now we just need to organize it, <laughs> but it is definitely coming together. I've always wanted a second fridge for my sparkling drinks or, you know, my Coke. We're definitely painting that door. Yeah, let's keep it closed in the meantime. When you come over here to this area, it's gonna lead you upstairs where you'll see the painting of Stevie and I. <laughs> so real quick, before we go upstairs, I just wanna note, like this right here is our laundry room. Let's Don't even a show them. No, it's, it's a little dirty. We gotta show them. But the floors are dope. The, floor, the, floors. the floors are the only part right now that's show pretty dope. Show floors, dude. Everything else oh. I have to clean up. The sole floors, the faux brick, y'all. It was definitely not like this before, it was just wood, the bamboo wood. Bamboo floors were like the rage in 2001 <laughs> when this house was actually built and they're whack. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. they just, it, bamboo floors in like a colonial style cottage is not gonna work. So we put in white oak floors. They're not engineered wood where most of it's engineered. And then this part's real wood. This whole thing is solid wood. Y'all, these floors, the brick in the kitchen, the limestone, and the ceiling has completely transformed this house. And this was also done by my parents' company, Sole Floors. If you're in the Austin area, seriously, I'm going to plug them because all the guys all the that work for them so are just outstanding and they're fast and they get things done. I like that the floor actually has character, you oh, know? for sure. Every plank has its own moment. All right, let's go upstairs. I might need help getting up in. I really went in for this shot. <laughs> Why did you do that? Who do you I, think you are? I was trying, you know, this is the problem because we're film, like, film graduates. I wanted to get, like, down into the nitty gritty of I the know. poor. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and I know we're going to get asked about these, so let's just plug it right now. I got those online at a place called Circa Lighting. We're suckers for sconces. Scones. I actually feel like maybe we could put another sconce in here. We could do another sconce. You can really sconce wherever you want to sconce. So right by the staircase, I just have to mention this. Why is like this my favorite little moment on this powder room bathroom? Look, engaged. Oh, would you say that when you're in there, you are 
engaged. I am engaged. I think the wallpaper is something that we definitely want to change. These lights also from Hudson Valley Lighting. It matches the mirror. Yeah, I think we'll eventually change this up and um, make it really What is better. that over there? What, babe? Is it a roach? No, that. It's a toilet. What? <laughs> This is where our master is. So this oh, is no, that downstairs. And we've already talked about this in a previous oh, video. No. We're actually currently in the process of drawing up yeah. a little bit of a renovation that's gonna happen in here. So we'll just give you a little quick peek and there's a little visitor in here. Knock, knock. Look who it is. Hey, what are you playing for? Okay, that's all you need to see. Okay. Okay, so let's go upstairs real quick. Wow, who are these really attractive people underneath this sky? It's a gift, and it's so sweet, and I feel like that's really the only place we could really put it. Yeah, so whenever you go down our stairs or up them, <laughs> just know that we will be watching you. If I go up the stairs like 20 times, I think I might actually go into full-on labor. Coming up the stairs, backwards. When you come up the stairs, you will notice there's a wide open entryway where you can just walk right down on into the family room. And let me tell you why, Sass. Wide open spaces. Oh, wow, babe, that's quite the kick. When you're remodeling your house, you gotta have vision. Let me tell you what was going on over here. Oh God, that was such a HDTV voice. You remember the chimney that was downstairs? Yeah. Well, it came all the way up through the second story up to the roof. Which, yeah, made the entryway to that living room really so small. So it, it closed off this hallway, and then there was another bench built in right here. So we took out the chimney. The roofers patched the roof. Hey, chimney that's gone now. The view is so much more grand when you walk upstairs now as opposed to you have like a fraction of the view. These were actually already here, so we didn't have to add them. Um, we are in the process of maybe doing like a little desk here, a desk situation, especially as our girls get older, maybe they want to do their homework out here. Oh my God, I said our girls. Oh, that's so sweet. It's making me emotional. Shout out to Lexi Johns and John Volk, who helped me bring to life my shelfies, okay? Upstairs and downstairs, the decor, it was actually not as daunting as I thought it would be. And if you wanna know details, I actually did an IGTV at home oh, with Saz. So you'll have to check that out. And then we decided to keep this one because there was another built-in situation here, but it was too much. So this is another built-in. And what I love about this is it does have, um, uh, what do you call these again? That's a skylight, my dear. Yes, I love the two skylights that were already here. So it does give a lot of light during the day. And then this is the second living room upstairs. We kind of consider this more of like the casual family room. So you're Wait. gonna see a lot of our old furniture from our old house, including the couches, the Z Gallery like buffet. Wait, Saz, go turn on those lights over there in the corners because they look really cool. Oh, Just that's dope. Because it gets brighter. Oh, those are dope. When you walk upstairs and those are on, it's, it's so like good. takes it up like a whole nother I know, notch. I love it. playland area. We keep it pretty clean and organized. This is actually the box where the swing on one of the screened in porches that we're about to show you came in and it was huge. It's now her creative art space. So if you have big boxes laying around, just a little tip. That was a shout out to uh, our nanny. That was her idea. Yeah, shout out to our babysitter. Um, she comes during the week. She's so sweet and plays with Teeny. She actually had that idea. Right behind Stevie here is a little powder room up here. Just a quick little easy powder room. So, I just don't know about this. I'm not vibing this like faux leopard situation in here. So we're not gonna show them too much of that. What's great about this y'all is just like, you're literally in treetop views over here. Yeah, and literally because this is the family room, we have games and these, this was actually already here. 
And then this house actually up here has two really great storage closets. And I just want to give you guys a little look oh at God. like everything being bigger in Texas, including the storage closets. Come Don't here. show them the storage closet, babe. It's literally a mess. I know, but it's just to show them the size of okay. it. Okay. Look, this could literally be a room. The lighting in there is awful. I know. This is actually my inventory closet. I got creative with it. And so not only does it have some junk in it right now, but... This is where a lot of I where I bring a lot of my giftings and stuff that I get, like PR, campaign stuff that I have to shoot, Stevie's equipment, Ooh. and it's a work in progress. The lighting in here is rough too. But What's I like rough? that it came with these little things already. So there's three bedrooms up here and a screened in porch. So let's go to the first guest room. So this is probably my favorite guest room of the three bedrooms up here. It's just so cozy. I love the little rug. You brought this from your old man cave in our old house from yeah. Kerrygold. Where's the comforter for this bed? Oh. Uh, I think it's in the laundry room getting washed. The thing with this house is, is like it has all these cute little moments. Like I'm a sucker for a little cozy moment like this. We painted it actually, what color bay would you say this is? It's like <laughs> a very muted green. Yeah, it's honestly like a really light sage. I don't it know if you can- It might be hard to tell on camera, but- It's a little hard to tell right now. Every bedroom has a walk-in closet. Oh That's my That's not gosh! something ah! you will find in LA. <laughs> And a bathroom. Well, you will find it for about $5 million. You will. This is just a bathroom, pretty simple. We didn't really have to do anything to any of the bathrooms. They were just great as is for now. Um, so all the guest rooms were really great. We didn't need to do any work Oh, to them. this is our old master furniture at our first rental house, man. But this is cozy, I love this set. I actually will always love this Chevron wooden bed from West Elm. It's always Sing gonna it, be Taz. one of my favorites. And I... Where's my mic? So this room is TT's room and her future baby sister. I don't think we should call her TT, by the way. I think like... I call her all things. Like when you're a five-year-old boy, you think, you know, your TT is your... <laughs> so... My little teens beans. Oh, um, so what's funny is that the master room and probably teenies room are the two rooms that we've kind of neglected. Like this is not the vision at all that we've even put thought into but we just wanted to put all her stuff in here including her pink little bed i got asked a lot of questions about this bed on my instagram um stevie actually ended up reconfiguring it because we accidentally got a full size and it was massive so he said you know what since they won't take it back and give us the other one I'm gonna make it into a twin. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is just Teeny's little room. She has a bathroom, full bathroom, and then her closet is actually bigger than my closet, I feel. She has more closet space than you and I do. Look at her purses. I can't with her. Oh my gosh. Something really cute about this is the screened in Jack and Jill porch between this and the other room that we're gonna show you. Show them what's mine. Door number three says. Oh God, this happened last time. She's still figuring out how to open doors. We're praying for her. I think you were pushing. So if oh. you just pull, you will see yeah, that the door will open. Okay, this is one of the screen in porches. And it's a Jack and Jill. And look, it overlooks the entire Oh my view. gosh, it's 60 degrees it's out really, right now. And it's it actually alive. feels amazing. This is the first time we've actually, I think, sat in here. Teeny and baby number two are gonna share a room. But then when we have a little Nino, he's gonna be in here. And then they're gonna come in here at night and canoodle. We're gonna be like, stop going in there canoodling in the Jack and Jill screened in porch. Is that even a thing? Yeah, it is. So the two girls will be over there and if Stevie gets his son one day, this is the other room that it connects to, which we okay, thought was let's... super cute. Right now, this is John's room. <laughs> John Volk. John Volk has been to Austin a million times and he always picks this room. And this is one of, I think, the coziest guest rooms upstairs because we actually work from this room. We do our podcast oh. in here. We take Zoom calls in here. Um, I even have taken over this closet space here to put my makeup and some of my like winter coats. And then there's obviously a bathroom as well. So it's great. Oh, I'm oh my sorry. God, says. Pregnancy. Are you serious, dude? My bladder. I can see your head. Go away. <laughs> oh my God. See, what if I literally lost my mucus plug? Says. <laughs> this is why I moved to Texas. I always wanted a porch with two rocking chairs on it with the view. Yeah, it's and really. And it feels like fall right now. Like it is chilly out here. And my little doggy. 
All right, guys, well, this was just a little sneak. Actually, it was a really good peek at the house. I feel like we still have yet to figure out what we're doing in the outdoor space. So stay tuned for maybe a little reveal on that once we do. And then a full look at the master once we bring that to life. My goal was to shoot this video before I had the baby and we did it. Yes. We finally did it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the description box for some more details. Um, and if you have any questions, write them down below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. I know you guys probably are wondering like paint colors and all of that. If so, you'll have to stay tuned on the blog because I'll be sure to include a little kind of roundup on, on all of those little things um, soon. So stay tuned and yay, until next time. Mwah, mwah. Bye guys. Oh, she just got a bath. She smells so good.